Okay. We are now on Facebook Live. So um, we've got a minute to go before we get started. So um, just see if one or two more people join us before we get started. Um, and then we'll, uh, saying, we'll get started in one sec. So as I say, we start off with Psalm, Psalm 46. Um, I say it's 7.15 now, so we will get started. And I'm reminded very often about um, saying the Lord's Prayer. And I think it's quite important to, or very important to say the Lord's Prayer because it does really sort of contain most of not all our requests within it. And so we will say, um, we will say the Lord's Prayer now and then we will look at the Psalm. So our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Okay, so let's have a look at Psalm 46. Amen. One second. Um, yeah, can we just make sure we're all on on mute, please, so that we can not have the background noise. As I say, when we get to praying, when we invited to pray, then please feel free to open your mic. But um, for the time being, if we can just um, keep our mics open. So Psalm 46. Just let one more in. I'm just letting a couple more people in. Okay, so Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountain quake, mountains quake with their surging, there is a it is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He make, makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns a shield with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalt exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. So that is part Psalm 46. So, so just game mute. So just bear with us. We can stay on mute for the best part of the meeting. And then um, uh, as and when you're invited to pray, then please do. But Psalm 46. And as not as per normal, we will start off with um a, uh with one of the verses that will actually sort of help us to um to praise God. And we start off with um verse one. God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Father, we thank you for who you are. We thank you, Lord the Creator the creator of heaven and earth. We thank you, Father. We know, Lord, that you have done wondrous things. You do wondrous things. And you are our refuge. You are our strength. And, Father, as we come to you with our, with our prayers and our requests today, Lord, we know that you hear our prayers. And in our times of troubles, Lord, you actually 
You actually are our strength. We thank you, Father. We thank you for who you are. God Almighty, the creator of the world. We thank you, Father, for giving us another day. We thank you, Lord, that we thank you, Lord, that we are here this morning and that you give us another day to enjoy, another day to be in your presence, another day to be able to do your work. And we are thankful, Lord. We are thankful, Lord, that you you give us this day, Lord. We thank you for life. We thank you for your creation. And we say it week on week, Lord, that you have created this, this universe to its greatest expanse, its expanding universe, Lord, that you have created. And we thank you. We thank you for who you are, Lord. So, Father, we also know, Lord, that you created the tiniest of atoms. And when we think of the tiniest of atoms to the great expanse and the expanding universe, Lord, you are an amazing God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for that great universe. And Lord, between the atom and the and the expanse of the universe, somewhere in between sits us. Sits us. <clears throat> sits us, your great, your your people that you so dearly love. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, that you have um, you love us, and that you know every single number uh, hair on our head. You know the numbers of our hairs on our head, and we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that uh, you know us, that we are children of God. We are your loving children, and you love us too. And we can never be loved as deeply as you love by anybody else as deeply as you love us. You are our Father, Lord. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we are children of God. And we thank you, Father, that we can rest, turn to you, that we can rest upon you and use, use your strength um, to call upon, Lord, particularly in our times of troubles. You are an amazing God. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done and all that you are. So, Father, we thank you, Lord, for loving us. And, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your son, Jesus Christ, the ultimate sacrifice. We know, Lord, that through you and your, sorry, through your son, through the sacrifice of your son, Jesus Christ, that we are, <coughs> we are, um, we are saved, Lord. We are forgiven of our sin because we are sinful people, Lord, but you forgive us, Lord. And we know we are forgiven because of your son, Jesus Christ, and our belief and our faith in him. And that is an amazing, amazing um, sacrifice that has happened. And we thank you, Father. So, Father, we hold this prayer up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we are praying, we are praying over Psalm 46. And we started with the the first verse. I'll bring it up again so that we can see. So the first verse says, "God is our refuge and strength, an ever present help in <clears throat> sorry, ever help in trouble." So we so please feel free to, if anybody wants to open their mic and pray over that particular one. Um, but, uh, go farm. Um, who we got? Go farm. Your mic's open. We've got pass. Uh, got. Bishop Joseph as well. I'll let you pray in a minute. But go farm. Do you want to pray first? Amen. Hallelujah. Our Lord, our God, our living God, our Father, you are dwelling on the sky, but it is your love. You care us. You love to us. Jesus, you crucify on the cross for us and forgive our all the sin. Jesus, we go down before you, all the majesty, all the worship, all the glory for you. Please touch us and give us wisdom, give us knowledge, give us understanding. When your men hear the word of God, we understand completely. Teach us, guide us. Please send your Holy Spirit to us and in our elder brother. He teach us. We can understand. Hello. 
I think you're still there, Gold Farm. I think you've, we've lost you. Okay. Let's, um, okay. Um, um, who's speaking? Uh, George, you want to speak? Yeah, please do. George. Yes, yes. Uh, praise the Lord. Yep. I wanted, I wanted to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come before you. I thank you, Lord, for you have been our God, you have been our King. You take, you protect us against our enemies. You stand with us, Lord. You say in the book of uh, Isaiah 54, 17, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Father, we ask upon you to bless this group, bless our family, bless our children, bless our churches, my father, even the churches that are going through challenges, the churches that are going through pain, be our rock and be our shield in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray believe. Amen. Amen. George, thank you. Pastor Justin, I see your mic is open as well. Did you want to pray? Yes. Let's believe as we play. My father, the king of glory. Oh, Pastor Justin, I think, can you unmute your mic again? I think I've inadvertently muted you. Pastor Justin, can you unmute your mic? Okay. Pastor Justin, please carry on. Yeah. Let's believe as we play. Mighty Father, the King of Glory, we thank you, Lord, this morning, O Lord. Thank you for the gift of the day. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of good health, O Lord. My Father, thank you, Lord, because we have reached it this day, O Lord. My Father, we have ever listened to thank you, Lord. We have seen your hand working upon our lives, O oh Lord, my Father. We have listened, O oh Lord, to glorify your name, my Father. Lord, we are here to praise you and thank you, Lord, because you have been our Father since, since we were born up to date, O oh my Father, my God. My Father, you created us, O oh Lord, so that we may be able to do according to our will, O oh my Father. But we have not done according to our will, O oh my Father. Each day we are referred as O oh Lord. But today we are alive with good health, O oh Lord, because of your mercy and love towards all of my Father. Lord, we have got idea, Lord. Give us knowledge and wisdom, O oh Lord. May you increase our knowledge, O oh Lord, my Father, so that we may be able to be to live long on this uh, on this uh, trip, uh, uh, on this word, O oh my Father, so that we may be able to deliver your people, my Father, my Father. May you use us to be the light in order to, to spread light where it seems to be darkness, oh my Father. My Father, there is no an obstacle, my Father, which will limit us not to spread the word of, uh, the word of you, Lord, where you want the, uh, the word to lead him, the mighty name of Jesus, oh my Father. This morning I pray for the sick people who are in hospital, my Father. May you send your whole, your, your whole injection, oh my Father. So that your you people may be healed, oh my father, this morning, oh my father. Now, like you, the king of glory, we call your name because you are the mighty Lord, my father. Now, like you, the king of glory, you decide to be the glory, my father. My father, this morning, I I speak, I, I speak your blood all over, all over our family, so my father, all over this platform, oh my father. May you increase people in this in this past moment, my father, so that we may be able to increase our knowledge and wisdom, so that we may be able to spread your gospel, my father, where you want it to lead in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, like you, the king of glory, may you cut us as we start all, my father, and end with us, oh, my father. Now, like you, the king of glory, the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and believe in Christ. Amen. Amen. Um... David Lewis, Lewis, um, are you still here or are you gone? I see your, you was up for pray, <clears throat> prayer just a second ago, um, but um, uh, I, yeah, I can't see, it can't, I think you might have disappeared. Um, I know Bishop Bishop Joseph, I think you were you were trying to open your mic as well. I know you've been at, in and out of this meeting. I'm guessing your um, connection is not too great, but uh, if you can hear us, Bishop Joseph, I know you opened your mic a little while ago. Did you want to pray? Actually, I can't. I don't think he's actually got any. Um, don't think he's got audio at the moment. Okay. Well, we're looking at Psalm forty-six. Um, let's bring it back up again, um, and see what we've what we've got. Um, 
It says here, uh, verse six, nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. Father, we know very well, Lord, that at the moment, and we will be praying for nations later, Father, but we know very well that there are nations that are um, uh, at war and in conflict, and they are actually doing their own will and not, not yours, Father. But, Father, we just ask you, Lord, we know, Lord, that you are in control, that you are in control of all situations, Lord, and that we need to be able, able to trust in you. And, Father, as we come to our talk in a minute, and we'll talk about... Um, uh, talk about this in a minute, Lord, but we just ho hold you up, Lord, that it is your kingdom, Lord, and you are in control. And for all those that are in conflict, Lord, may they be able to turn to you and know the right path to peace. So, Father, we just ask you, Lord, um, to uh, <coughs> bear these nations that are in conflict. And as I say, we will name them a bit later, but we, we hold these prayers up to you, Lord, that these um, nations that are in conflict can, can find you, Lord, in their hearts and find the love that comes from you. We ask that in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Bishop Joseph, I can see your mic is open now. Did you want to pray? It's great to see you online, I have to say. But um, uh, we haven't seen you for a few weeks, but it's great to have you here. But if you want to pray, Bishop Joseph, uh, I think he might have gone. I think, I think his connection's really sort of poor. Oh, no, he's still there. Bishop Joseph, did you want to pray? No, I think he's gone. There are a few people I think who are in and out this morning with their with their internet connection. So it's um, a shame. Okay. Does anybody else just want to pray over verse six before we move on to our time of teaching? Okay. We'll move on to our time of teaching then. As I say, it's a shame. I think there's a few people who are, are struggling to to keep their connections going, uh, which is a bit of a shame um, because I know a lot of them normally do like to be able to pray. Um, but um, nonetheless, um, it's great that they would be able to join us. But let's bring up the psalm again. And today's teaching, we're going to be looking at verse 10, which is a very popular um, verse. It is one that is very often quoted um, and very much in my heart as well at times. But verse 10 says, he says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Now, um, part of my testimony, I mean, there's, there's many, many occasions when uh, I feel the presence of God, when I know God is working. and. Part of my testimony is that um, I used to go to Romania with a charity called Cry in the Dark. And it used to be um, once a year that I used to go for about a week. And there was always practical projects to be involved in. Um, when we went out there, we were actually um, uh, doing all sorts of practical um, works for the various projects that they run out there. But Cry in the Dark's very first project, um, when they first started, uh, back in 1998, um, they actually created uh, an orphanage for children that uh, a guy called Steve Cooper had had found in um, an institution. These were the these um, children were the legacy of the Ceausescu regime. These children were um, basically shoved into a, um, an institution, and there was no love, no care for these particular children. And so um, Steve, when he went there, he um, his heart was opened. He wept over it and he prayed over it. And God was calling him to open a, an orphanage for these children. Now, these children have uh, they got all sorts of disabilities and life limiting illnesses. And they um, they were Steve took them from that particular institution and put them into uh, uh, created an orphanage for them, a home for them. And it was called a home for life. So these children, I would say, totally incapable of independent living for the whole of their life. And Steve had created this particular orphanage uh, in Komenest in Romania. Um, and, um, yeah, as I say, it's st still running today, which is amazing considering all the problems that they've, they've had. The What were children now are in adulthood. 
And it was in 2009 when I went out there first um, to help with a practical project because these children were becoming um, adults and uh, they needed to extend the orphanage to to cater for uh, for these particular children or these particular people who are now becoming adults. So we were there to help build the orphanage, which is what we've done. But it, it was really going out there was really uh, a catalyst to my Christian journey because up until then I'd become a Christian, but I probably hadn't really understood what um, Christianity was all about until I saw that. And when I realized that Pry in the Dark had started with absolutely nothing, it was just prayer and faith. And yet they created this particular orphanage um, and they've got some other projects on the go as well. Um, but it really opened my heart. So um, I started going out every year, um, once uh, for a week every year, to be able to help with some practical projects. Now, in 2011, uh, when we went out there, the week we were out there, it was at the height of the financial crisis that was going on then. And um, what happened was that the, the mayor of Komenesh, who actually um, gave some of his... Um, some of the money some of the monies that were coming in he gave it towards the the orphanage to keep the orphanage going or as it's become now a home for life um so they created this home for life um it was it was still going and the, the mayor of Comanesh was providing his um his little bit for it but in the height of the crisis he was threatening to pull his funding for it um obviously everybody were trying to tighten their belts and people were looking at seeing where they could save money and I think the mayor of Comanesh had decided that it was time to um, pull the funding on that. The one particular Wednesday evening when we were there, when we were there, when we were in our accommodation, Steve Co Steve Cooper called an emergency prayer meeting so that we could pray over this particular situation. So I say we were sitting in the prayer meeting. Um, we were sitting in the prayer meeting, and. Uh, we were having all sorts of prayer, prayer for the prayer for the trustees of the charity, prayer for um, prayers for that the the, um, uh, the the mayor would change his mind, prayers that um, you know for the likes of Steve Cooper himself who was having to um, you know to take on this task and this challenge, or you know virtually by himself, and so it was a real. Um, I say it was a real tough time for them and I say there was a lot of frantic prayer frantic prayer going on and then all of a sudden there was this very simple prayer and the prayer just simply said be still and know that I am God the quote we've been looking at from Psalm 46 at that particular point the whole atmosphere changed everybody sort of quietened down and everybody was able to be still and be in silence. And we could experience, and we could know that God was there. In that silence, we knew that God was there. And we, and we, it was, it was a, a wonderful, wonderful sort of feeling to know that he was in control. And yes, he definitely was in control because the, the charity is still going on today. The charity is um, still working hard. That home for life for those children is still there. It's still going on and it will be until the day that the last child has passed away. And so it was a remarkable work. So we could see that by placing our faith in God, by being still and knowing he was there, it, it was a wonderful time of presence. We know that he is in control and he is in control because the charity is still going wonders today. And in a minute, before long, we will be praying for the Ukraine. Ukraine um, uh, obviously is in war at the moment. And Ukraine borders, part, or part of Romania's border, borders Ukraine. And Steve Cooper now has ventured into to help in one particular orphanage, orphanage in Ukraine as they are actually um, in, in need of food, in need of all sorts of various helps. And say so Steve Cooper is has ventured into there. So one of the projects now is to be able to help Ukraine. So despite those difficult financial times of 2011, um, think God, being in the presence of God, being still, 
and knowing that God, knowing that God was um, just a wonderful experience. But it was that simple prayer, be still and know that I'm God. But when we look at that, when we look at it, I'm going to bring the prayer up, uh, the verse up again. When we look at that, it says, I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. We do. We do. Ex we do exalt our father in heaven. We do exalt him. He is a wonderful God and we praise him. We started this meeting by praising God. We do exalt him. The angels exalt, exalt God in heaven. And we exalt him here on earth because we are believers in him. We turn to him and we, we trust in him. So when our times are difficult, we trust in him. We are still, we need to be still and come and know, God, know that he is God. And we know that Jesus very often, he wanted to be in the presence of his father. He went to the mountains to be able to have to pray with his father. He used to go to the mountains alone to pray with his father. And I'm sure that there are many of us who will have our own places where we can be still and know that, know that he is God. It might be for you, mountains. I see quite often people um, sending me photographs of them up on mountains praying, and that might very well be the still place that they um, that they can know God. For others, it might be something different. I mean, for me, I um, personally, there's um, obviously um, most of you will not know the geography of um, of England, let alone the geography <laughs> geography of Kent, where I live. Um, but um, there's a island just north, just off the north coast of um, of Kent called Isle of Sheppey. It has its problems in many parts, um, social problems, but there are some very quiet areas of the Isle of Sheppey that are very still and tranquil. And one of those, one of those um, quiet places, um, there is a little chapel. Um, it's called the Hearty Church. And very often, when I get the opportunity to I like to wander over to that chapel and sit there because it is so quiet. It is so peaceful. It is so tranquil. And if we go outside, you have some wonderful views across an estuary. And But it's, it's my place where I can go and be still and know that I am God. So I'm sure there are many of you here who, as I say, have your places where you can, where you can go and be in the presence of God. And that particular chapel or that particular church um, is one place that I will go to in order to find find peace and be be in, in the presence of God. So that's what we're talking about today. So we've we've invested a lot of time on um, on uh, uh, Psalm forty six this morning. We've prayed over it and we've taught over it this morning. Um, so now we're going to pray over that over that particular um, particular piece. So Father. We know, Lord, that we do need to have our time of stillness, our time of quietness in your presence. In our busy lives, and I'm, I can say that my life is extremely busy at times, but I still need to be able to find that quiet time with you and to find your presence. And if, Lord, if we have that place where we know that we can go to and fully concentrate on you, give us a time and the opportunity to be, be do so, Lord, because we do need that time with you. We need that time daily with you. And Father, it might be that we not always have that opportunity to go to those quiet places, but in the busyness of our lives, let us be able to find that stillness. Let us be able to just sit there in your presence and know that you are God and know that, and we will exalt you. We will exalt you here on earth. We will hold up your name to, to the many people. We will exalt you, Lord. But Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for who you are. And Father, just help us and remind us to be in your presence. Amen. Does anybody else want to pray over um, you know, what I've been talking about? Um, um, yeah, yeah, about Psalm 46. And does anybody want to pray over Psalm 46? And particularly that last, last particular point that we've been talking about, be still and know that I am God. Does anybody want to pray over that one? Just while I write down one or two things I see in chat.
Hello. Okay, we are coming. Um, we're coming to our time of intercessionary prayer. Um, uh, Apostle Vincent, I see your hand is risen. Did Did you want to um to pray or, or pray at all? Yes, I can pray, brother. Please do. Our uh, close our eyes so that you can pray. Our dear heavenly Master above, we came here for this time, Father. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the great opportunity, Father. See now, I bring to this meeting. Be with us. Be all the participants. Be be with the host, Father. Father, we ask for guidance and protection yeah, from you. I pray yeah. in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. John, thank your you mic for is... your oh, Thank you for uh, your yeah, well, yes. encouragement, okay. Mr. Brother. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Vincent. John. Right. Yeah, nice, yeah. Talk with you. Nice, nice talk with you this time, brother. Okay. Um, um John, your, your mic is open. Okay. Right. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you, Lord, that we have the opportunity to be still. Please help each one of us not to be anxious and worried, but to calmly and stilly know that you are with us, that you're always with us. And just as Terry gave that uh, testimony of how you can work with people when they are just still, and they just know that you're in control, that you're a so sovereign Lord. Help us to have that stillness and that real confidence and that you are sovereign and that you will do what you will do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, John. Okay, we, we come to our time of intercessionary prayer. Um, I say this takes to take up the bulk of the meeting. We still... Um, Probably not. Last week we had well over 50, 50 prayer requests, but we've probably still got well over 40 today. So we will start to um, to move on to them. Um, and as always, we pray for the nations. Um, so, Father, we bring up to the nations, as we prayed earlier, Lord, but we name these nations now, Lord, that are uh, uh, either in difficulty or in conflict or or have their, you know, these nations have their own struggles. But Father, we bring up to you um, uh, the war in Ukraine and Russia, still ongoing, Lord. But we know, Lord, as we said before, that um, you are in control, that um, this will come to an end eventually, um, and all things are done in your time. But Father, we do ask you, Lord, to help open the hearts of those leaders, Lord, who are insistent on dra dragging this war out, that they are um, trying to insert their will on, on other people. So we ask you, Lord, to open their hearts, open their hearts so that these people can have peace in their country. We long for peace throughout the world. We long for, for a, a, a world where your kingdom reigns and that there is peace, there is no more wars, that there is, there is, there is an outpouring of love through, um, from many people, Lord, for, from everybody, and that everybody, Lord, can actually turn their hearts to you. But in Ukraine and Russia, Father, we particularly ask that the leaders open their hearts to you, that they can negotiate peace and that there, there is no war out there. There's no conflict out there and everybody can can know you, Lord. But as we heard today, Lord, there are um, there are organisations like Cry in the Dark and many other organisations that are doing your work in that particular difficult part of the world who are prepared to go where... Um, where it is dangerous in order to to shine your love and your glory and we thank you for those particular um, for those particular organizations that are prepared to do that so we hold them up to you in the mighty name of your son jesus christ and father the ongoing war in israel and gaza where many people are suffering many people are without food and shelter so we father we we hold hold that area up to you as well that this area can um, have an outpouring of love and that hearts can be opened and that people will know that you, know that you are a present in that, wor in that wor world. I'm sure, Lord, for many of those out there, it is very, very difficult for them to be still and know that you are God, God. But let them be able to, in their troubles, be able to know your presence and know that you are there and that you do care for each and every one of those people. 
So, Father, we hold Israel and God, uh, Gaza up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And, Father, we have the areas where it is very difficult in the world to be Christian. Uh, we have Pakistan. We have India. Um, all areas of the world where it is difficult to be a Christian and people are persecuted. So, Father, we, we hold these areas up to you, um, that your love can shine, that people can be able to talk freely and, um, and worship you and be able to spread, the, spread your love to many more people and to spread the name of your son, Jesus Christ, to these people. We know, Lord, that people are persecuted and some of our prayers later will, sh will show this that there are many people who are persecuted because of their faith in you. So, Father, we hold these, we hold these nations up to you, that your love can shine in these particular, this particular part of the world and that they can know that you are their God. And as again, Lord, that in their difficulties, they can be still and know that you are God. So, Father, we ask this in the mighty name. We hold these nations up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Does anybody want to pray for the nations, either the nations that we've prayed for or any other nations that they're aware of where there is need for prayer? Please feel free to open your mics. Sorry. OK. Father God, I come to you in prayer for the nation of England, England. And for the UK. Lord, though we do not have a war situation, we have been involved and different strikes on different countries because of what's going on in the world. And Lord, we do have a, a ever increasing unsettledness with politics in this nation uh, because it's quite clear that the small Islamic groups are trying to manipulate the politics. Uh, MPs are now having to have military guards uh, and things have got very worse in this country as far as politics are concerned because of the influence of Islam, even burning down offices and threatening to murder MPs and others because Islam wants to take over the world. And Lord, we just pray that will you will push back, that you will raise up people that are not afraid to speak the truth, but not afraid to say that Jesus Christ is Lord and that this nation, there is freedom of religion, but that doesn't mean that one religion can push the others out and push us all around. And Lord, it's um, we really need peace in this country politically, and we really need help to stop the inslaw of Muslims. And we particularly pray for those that come on the boats. There are many illegal immigrants coming here, Lord, which we'd love to see stopped because most of them are young men, Islamists, who just come here to try and take advantage of this nation and want to change this nation to be like a nation, an Islamic nation that they don't even want to go to. Lord, the situation is quite confusing, but Lord, we give it into your hands. We, give it, we, we know that you are in control and we just pray that you will help this nation, the UK, to overcome these difficulties. Amen. Amen. Thank you, John. Um, George, I see your mic is open. Did you want to pray? Yes, I want to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come before you. I thank you, Lord, for America. I thank you, Lord, for our leaders that you have brought to lead us, Mother, Father, into this work. I pray for every nation that is passing through persecution. Like the nation of Kenya, the cost of living has gone high and people are going through challenges. Pastors are feeling to, like giving up in the ministry. The orphanages, the schools of my father that have not no people to fund. Father, may you provide the resources that are needed. Oh my God. May you provide strengthened families, may you strengthen pastors and their families. May you strengthen this network, oh my father, so that whatever is needed may be found, oh my God. I know it's not easy to bring pastors together, leaders, bishops together, 
but I ask our poor Father to bring unity among us so that the gospel may be preached to all nations of the world. Oh, my Father, the people are crying because some people have not received the message. Pakistan and India, oh, my Father, Haiti nation, people are being burnt alive. Christians are being burnt alive. Oh, my God, I come against this spirit of war and tribalism, this war of religion, oh, my Father, the spirit of Buddhism, oh, my Father, the spirit of devil worship, oh, my Father, that is coming into the world, the spirit, oh, my Father, of... Uh, paganism oh my father that is hindering christianity from spreading i come against this power and this authority father may you bless your people may you i know your people again oh my father bring people who are ready for the gospel oh my father ignite the fire oh my god bring the resources that are required oh my father people are longing to treat the gospel people are longing to have revival meeting people are longing to have evangelism people are longing to have bibles oh my father but there's nobody to provide for them. Lord, I'm asking that you open doors, oh my father, through this network, oh my father, through the organization, oh my father. I think. Okay. Amen. Um, Vincent, you got your hand risen. Did you want to pray? Yes, brother, I can pray. Our dear heavenly master, above, we came in for this time, father. We thank you for the great opportunity you have given us. So I want to know, Father. Father, thank you for the whole nation. We thank you for the whole friends. We thank you for the whole parents you have given us, Father. No one like you, Father. Bless all the pastors, children, orphanages. Father, be with them, Father. Father, be with our host, Terry. Be with him, Father. Guide him, protect him, and give him energy to do your work, Father. No one like you, Father. We bless, we glorify your name, Father. Hallelujah. Glory to Yahweh. Glory to Jesus. I pray in short Jesus pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. John, I see your mic still open. Did you have anything else to, to add to the prayers? Or no, you 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 did uh, no you, you come off okay. Um no, it's fine. Um right, we now come on to time for prayers for people who need healing. So Father, we bring these people to you, Father, for healing. We pray, Lord, that um, you are able to place your healing hands upon them and the heal these people in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, I bring to you a um, friend of ours here in England, um, Philip, and uh, who I had the pleasure of being able to go and visit the other day as well, meet his wife, Bev, who's the one that's really the one in need of, of prayer for healing. We ask you, Lord, we, we offer her up to you, Lord, for your loving hands to be placed upon her that she um she is healed from her um from her particular illness um it was thought to be parkinson's but it seems to be um something else that is gluten related wheat related but um has all the symptoms of parkinson's um but father <coughs> whatever however it manifests itself in in um, bev we ask you lord to actually to heal her that she be free from this particular illness and that she is free to um to be able to do your work it's spending time with them with philip and bev um the other day was a real, real pleasure and we know that these people are, are great servants of yours with you in the center of their hearts and the center of their lives so father we ask you lord to, to heal bev we ask you lord in the mighty name of your son jesus christ that she be healed from this particular um illness um boyella um it's just asked for prayers for um, for his nephew, Benny, who is in hospital um, with a fever. So, Father, we ask you, Lord, to be able to lift this fever from Benny, that um, he is healed in, in your mighty name. Uh, we ask you, Lord, that um, your glory shines through this healing, that people can see that he is healed because of, because of your glory, because of your love. So we hold Benny up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Jacqueline Watanabe in Japan. Um, she suffers from um, insomnia and uh, uh, struggles to sort of sleep. But Father, we ask you, Lord, to help her. We ask you, Lord, to help her to be able to sleep, to be able to have that natural rest of sleep, that she is able to be able to have uh, a good night's sleep and know, Lord, that it comes from you, that she has been healed, that her insomnia has gone. We know, Lord, that uh, sometimes our, our sleep is because of um, things on our minds, things that are, are, um, our stresses and our strains and our troubles prevent us from sleeping. But again, Father, 
we ask you lord to help her to be still and know that you are god and that through through any struggles that she may be having that are stopping her from sleeping that she knows your loving presence and knows that you are in control so we hold jacqueline up to you lord in the mighty name of your son jesus christ um isaac um not sure isaac and deje not sure whether he's still with us but he was with us earlier um, but we hold him up to you lord um cough and headaches um we ask you lord that um uh you help him to be able to overcome these coughs and headaches and that he's able to um be able to serve you we also know lord that he is our our friend who's had one of his legs amputated um but because of bone marrow cancer but we ask you lord to ensure that that bone marrow cancer is now cleared that he is free from that and that he he gets the the um artificial legs that he needs to be able to um to be able to move more freely and be more mobile but also father we ask you lord um to help him with his um siblings with the uh, his brothers and sisters um as they seek to be fed and nourished so father we ask you lord to to hold we hold isaac up to you lord we ask you lord to help him in um in his endeavors to to feed his brothers and sisters and we thank you for his love for his brothers and sisters a great servant of yours lord but for this cough and his headaches lord may they be gone in the name of your son jesus christ yay yeah, yeah, yeah you you're online um ask for prayers for um for uh your parents um the father has prostate problems a mother has um I'm seeing if I can say this properly, angioplasty. I'm not sure what that actually is, but um, it's angio. I'm guessing it's something to do with heart. Um, but Father, we hold uh, we hold Yair's um, father and mother up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ, that they be healed, that they know your loving presence, and that the the prostate problem for the father and this uh, angioplasty, if I've got the name right. You know what it is, oh, Father. Um, we ask you, Lord, that, that these problems be gone, that they be healed, that um, they be healed in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and that they know your loving presence. Let them be healed and your glory shine in His mighty, in your mighty name, Lord. Amen. Uh, Mukaya Alone, you're here today. Got a couple of prayers for you. Um, morning to you. Um, uh, but for the moment, uh, as prayers for healing, um, we know that uh, you get very tired, and I can understand why because I've seen the 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 uh, ministry that uh, God has placed on your heart. Um, but Lord, we just ask you for to give Him for the energy because of the pressures of um, of looking after children of the orphanage and the school that He looks after. Uh, we will be praying for them later. But Father, we do ask you, Lord, to to give him the energy that he needs to carry on doing your work. Um, it is a difficult, um, it's difficult for him. And I say, I've seen the pictures, I've seen the, the difficulty, the difficulties that he is under. So we, we hold him up to you, Lord, for energy in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Uh, Tabish uh, in Pakistan and Samuel Onwari, both um, praying for the same thing. Again, people with flu and fever and stomach problems both seem to be having the same same problems in different parts of the world but having the same uh, problems so we hold to be up to you and samuel on wary lord that you heal them from their um their um their fever and that they are able to be um strong again that their fever is gone the flu has gone the stomach pains have gone lord and he's done so in the mighty name of your son jesus christ that they are healed and again let them be able to point to you that you are the one that have healed them. You are the one that have um, uh, made them well again. So we hold them up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Zachary Mandir, um, his grandfather is sick and in hospital. So Father, we hold we hold um, Zachary Mandir, his grandfather, up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your, your son, Jesus Christ, that, again, you place your healing hands upon him I'm not sure how old he would be. And Father, we do know that um, particularly as people get older, it's it's about your will and about your will being done. I mean, Zachary asked particularly for, for healing 
if that is your will, may that be done. But Father, we just pass you for peace in this particular situation as well, for, for the grandfather as well as the, the um, family that support him. So Father, we hold him up to you, hold this grandfather of Zachary up to you, uh, to be healed in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Jonathan Banda, um, uh, son is ill. Um, Father, you know the the problems of his son, uh, what his um, issues are. But we do ask you, Lord, to, to heal him, that he is made well and whole again. In the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, may his son be healed. And again, that we know that it's through your, it shines your glory through this healing. So we hold him up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And one more prayer for healing. Uh, Robert Berry in Chicago. Um, we pray for him most weeks. Um, got various problems. Um, um, various problems. Um, so, Father, we hold him up to you. Um, that he, um, his various issues of health are overcome, Lord. You know all the problems, his, his, his heart, his blood pressure, his um, breathing problems, uh, his brain tumour that he, he had the operation on many years ago. You know that situation, Lord. But we ask you, Lord, to heal him in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. So those are the prayers for healing. Does anybody want to to pray over any of those particular people that we prayed for or anybody else um, who needs healing that they would like to pray for, feel free to open your mic. Go Farm. Yes, brother, I am so much feeling the pain from the three or four days pain so much in the, my heart. Well, we can't hear you at the moment, Gold Farm, I'm afraid. Hello. Just give him an opportunity to see if he returns. It's always difficult sometimes, as I say, because I know the connections are poor, but sometimes we... We lose people in mid-speech, in mid-prayer. But uh, no, I think Golf Arm's gone. Okay. In which case, then, we, we will now move on to prayers for people's situations. Um, so we hold these people up to you, Father, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, for prayer. Um, we pray for um, uh, Softy Bishaj in Kenya, um, who's... Um, who's who's um, who lost their church elder, um, and somebody they really respected and held up as a mentor. Um, so we pray for that church, Lord, as well as softly. We pray for that church, Lord, that has lost this church elder. Um, we know that uh, unfortunately, um, uh, passing away is something that happens to us all, but it's still still grief for the family, grief for the family friends. Um, grief for the in, for the church in this particular case. So, Father, we hold hold them all up to you. Um, Softy, his um, his church members, his family who are affected by the loss of this elder, may in their their grief they do know that you know that your presence, Lord. Again, may they be still and know your presence um, in this particular time of of, of loss. So, Father, we hold um, hold that Softy and his church up to you in the mighty name of. Um, Jesus Christ. Yeah, here again, I would pray for him earlier, um, but we know there's church politics going on, which um, I think dividing the church, probably do, um, not helping him in his particular work with that church as well. But um, it's always a shame, Father, that church politics um, um, takes part. I mean, here as um, part of our ministry, Transform Worldwide Ministries, Kungadisha Ministries, our idea is, Lord, that um, we do not have those divides, that we do have um, unity in the church and the church can get along. Normally, Father, church politics is uh, it tends to be about people's personalities. And this week we we um, we uh, talked a little bit. Um, I think yesterday was we talked a little bit about pride and, and in church politics, in any politics. And John prayed for the politics of the United Kingdom earlier on. 
Um, but Father, we pray, Lord, that the, the, the pride comes out of this situation in this church, that um, the church politics is no longer there and this church can get along together because at the centre of any church, at the centre of any ministry is you. And this is what this church, the church should be about, is about, about you, Lord, and about knowing you and loving you, and about hearing your word. So, Father, we just ask you, Lord, that um, for your ears, your ears, church, that uh, they no longer have that politics and they can get along so that they can build your kingdom um, together um, for, the, for your sake, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, Gold Farm showed me pictures earlier on in the week. Um, Gold Farm's still here, but he showed me pictures earlier on in the week of uh, a Muslim girl, work, oh, sorry, uh, sorry, not Muslim girl, a Christian girl um, serving in a Muslim house has been killed. Um, and Father, we just hold all those who are involved in that situation up to you. That, um, uh, that the people who are grieving for the loss of this little girl um, can actually um, know your presence, know your love in this particular situation. We also ask you, Lord, that justice be done, that those who, the, the, the household that have um, killed this girl, that they can actually, uh, that justice will be served on those, that they realise that this is not the way to go. This is this is certainly not an act of, lo of love. Um, the Father, we just ask you, Lord, that um, justice be done. And Gold Farm also asks us, ask for prayers for all those girls who are in the same situation, working in Muslim households, that again, you protect them, Lord, that they know your protection um, in these particular circumstances, in their, their working environment, that they are able to um, know your love and protection and know, and can be still and know that you are God. So, Father, we hold hold all, the, all those girls in that particular situation up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, Yair, again, um, we talked about discrimination and discrimination. I'm not sure whether, Father, this goes back to the church politics or being in Pakistan particularly, that um, uh, they, they suffer uh, discrimination and persecution because of, they are Christians. Um, but, Father, we do ask you, Lord, to um, for both Yair and all those working in Pakistan, India, um, to be able to um, to know your loving presence and know that you uh, that this persecution uh, and this discrimination is not right and that you are in control of that situation so we hold we hold that particular we hold your ear up to you lord in the mighty name of your son jesus christ um yeah just see the see the photos um that uh uh, Gold Farm was put on the chat um, with regards to that girl that had been um, been killed. Um, so, I'm um, um, very unfortunate, unpleasant um, situation. Um, Father, we place up to you, um, Eriko, uh, who has been trained as a teacher, but c cannot find work at the moment. And I've come across it a few times before, Lord, where. Uh, many people are, uh, you know, are teachers but cannot find work, or the the systems or the bureaucracy um, in their particular countries make it very difficult for them to get the work that they've been trained to do. But Father, we do hold Eriko up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ, that he can know you, he can know your loving presence, and that he can find work as a teacher, so that he can be able to support the people that he wants to be able to support and help the children that he educates as well, Lord, to have a better future. Um, so we hold his situation up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, Prakash in India. Um, he's getting a car, but he's having to take out a loan for it. Um, I'm guessing that the car father is is to be able to, to go further and f further afield, Lord, to be able to do your work. If that's the case, Lord, you know, um, may that uh, success of that uh, of that venture be may bring many fruits and blessings to many people. So, Father, we hold Prakash up to you, Lord, um, that um, this particular um, loan as such, such is um, uh, is not hampered if it's if it's doing your work. 
So, Father, we hold Prakash up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Our friend here in England, Nia, um, her two sons, uh, given a particular cause for concern at the moment. Um, uh, older son, Reese, um, seems to be in contact with a woman in Africa that um, doesn't seem to be Christian or her spirit seems to be um, not not of the Holy Spirit as such, Father. Um, you know this particular situation, Father. Uh, we hold this up to you, Lord, that Reese is about to um, be wise and open his eyes to what's going on and that he's not dragged into something that is not of you, Father. So we hold him up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And also Nia's other son, one of our other sons, Ashley, um, he's mixing with the wrong people. Again, Father, we, we, we feel sorry that um, he is moving into the wrong direction, into the things that are not of you. So, Father, we just ask you to help him. And I think Nia feels that if Ashley can have a job, that he will be able to, to um, move away from this particular crowd of people. So we do, Father, ask you, Lord, to to bless him with a job, Lord, that he can um, he he can make a better future himself, um, a future with the company of the right people, preferably the company of a church, Lord, uh, where people know you and can help him to find you, Lord. So, Father, we hold Ashley up to you in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ. Um, Jason Maron in Canada. Um, it's got a court hearing on Monday. So, Father, we just ask you, Lord, that justice be done in this particular court hearing. Be be with Jason as um, as all the charges against him are uh, hopefully dropped, Lord, that they are able to um, the the uh, he's able to be proved innocent um, because he is a great servant of yours, Lord. So we hold Jason up to you that this court hearing goes goes well and goes in his favour. Um, and that ju uh, the justice is done. So we hold the Jason up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And Venkatesh earlier in India um, contacted me, um, trying desperately to get to Portugal for um, for work. Um, he's applied for a visa and that visa needs to come through pretty quick now. So Father, we do hold Venkatesh up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, that this visa comes through very, very quickly. Um, that he is able to um, to know that um, you are in control of this situation. Again, Lord, as he seeks to find work in Portugal, or he's, I think he's got work in Portugal, but as he seeks to, to go to Portugal to be able to do this work, uh, may you bless that venture, Lord. And whilst he's in Portugal, may he be able to, to shine your light, spread your light to the, to the various many people in that particular part of the world. Um, so we hold Venkatesh up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, just quickly. Um, okay. Um, so I think that's a prayer for situations. Um, I want to move on now because I say time is starting to, to move on now. So um, three people particularly, uh, it kind of almost comes under the situation of situations of situations um but it's their finances particularly your but um, they're looking for looking for help with uh, uh, their needs so uh donald and paul who um uh is asking for food for orphans and widows uh he's obviously looking after them lord and does so with so much love and care and do in seeking to do your work lord we ask you, Lord, to be able to provide for him, to, for him, well, for the children and for the widows, Lord. But again, we also ask, Lord, that it is a question of um, feeding them both physically but also spiritually. So we do ask you, Lord, that you look after them and provide them, pro provide for their needs. Um, Frank Borghetto, um it says that he is struggling against the economy, as a lot of people are. A lot of people are struggling against it, but struggling this particular time. So, Father, we just ask you, Lord, to be able to, uh, to help Frank in this particular time uh, of financial difficulties, that he is able to see his way through. And David Louise was with us earlier, but has um, disappeared now. 
I'm guessing his. I, I know he had struggles getting on, um, so I guess his. Um, um, I guess his connections aren't that great. But father, we do ask you, Lord, that you help him with his school fees, because at the moment, father, he's been removed from school because he cannot um, pay his way. He cannot pay um, the school fees. So, father, we ask you, Lord, to to help him find those um, school fees that he can return to his education. So we ask this, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And there are many people who are out there struggling with um, struggling with finances of one sort or another, particularly school fees. Father, we know that these people um, do need your do need your um, uh, do need your help to to resource their education so that their future is is more secure and better. So, Father, we we hold them all up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. We move on to uh, our last category, but again, quite a, quite a few people in this particular category for ministries. And Father, each one of us here on um, on this uh, platform today has a ministry of one sort or another, um, being able to spread the name of your son, Jesus Christ, and be able to spread your word to many more people around the world. So Father, we hold all these ministries up to you that are here present today. And Father, we... Um, uh, and George was with us earlier on. Um, I think George might have gone now, but George particularly um, was one of those who have asked for um, his orphan his orphans feeding program. Lord, need to be um, to be um, resourced. Lord, um, they they don't seem to have any food at the moment. So, Father, we hold George up to you, Lord, that his uh, feeding program for the orphans is actually resource lord again that they are nourished these people are, these children are nourished um, both um, physically and spiritually lord um, so that they can come to know you as well and to shine your glory so father we hold that we hold that feeding program up to you um, george has also asked lord that he's got a, a a wedding coming up at the end of the um end of the month uh, a joyous occasion for him i'm sure so we pray, Lord, that that particular wedding is blessed and that the, uh, that union is blessed, Lord, in your name. So, Father, we just ask you, Lord, to um, to look after George and, and his up in his future wife, Lord, and bless their union and that they work together, Lord, for the for your glory, for the ministry they do with the, the orphan. But he also also tells us, Lord, that um, the, he is arrears in, the, in with his house, with his accommodation. So again, Father, we just ask you, Lord, to help George, Lord, to have uh, those arrears met and that they are able to um, continue to do your work, your glory. So we hold George up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Father Hanapu in India, um, various requests throughout the week for prayer. Um, again, doing great work in India where it's very, very difficult to be a Christian. But Father, we ask you to support him in his work, and particularly in um, distributing book Bibles um, and spreading the gospel in unreached places. Um, we do ask you, Lord, that um, you continue to support him. I think he's had much success. He is a great worker in the harvest field, bringing in the harvest. And we thank you for his work, and may he continue to be blessed in the work that he does. And as he says about um, fellowship of women and um age specific fellowships may these these fellowships these groups that they're looking to be able to um to support in fellowship may they be successful as well lord um that uh, many more people come to know e each other and that they can fellowship together um and give each other strength your strength lord um as they seek to spread them spread the name of your son jesus christ in that part of the world um so Hale, so Hale was online. I think he might have gone now. Uh, gone now. Um, the Hale. And Patrice Spooter, who again, I'm not sure if Patrice is with us um, in Pakistan. Um, both work with the Brick Kiln community. And so, Father, we ask you, Lord, to support their work in the, what they do in the Brick Kiln community. Um, uh, so Hale is, is asking particularly for the orphans and the poor children um to be to be blessed by you lord i'm sure lord at the end of the day they they need their food so they need to be um 
uh, resource for their spiritual nourishment as well as their physical nourishment, Lord. So we hold her heels work out for you. And particularly also Patrice Booter as well, Lord, that um, his work by educating the children in the Brick Hill community in Lahore, that they are able to actually um, uh, fund this, the school that they have to bring, bring the children out of that particular um, poverty that they, they're in within and the, um, the oppression that they are under because of the debt that the, the people owe to the brick kiln owners. But they are brought out of that and that the, the children that Patris educates can have a future because they are being educated out of their poverty. So Father, we hold them up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Rashav as well is the ministry in, in the slum areas. Um, again, it's looking like he needs a school fee for the slum children. So again, it's about educating the children out of um, out of poverty. So we hold them up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ, that um, that these these children can be actually um, supported, Lord, in their school and their schooling and in their education, so that they have a better future, so that they can pull themselves out of poverty. So we hold um, Rashab, Rushab's um, uh, ministry up to you in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ. Dayamani, um, pray for praying for just pray for ask pray for his ministry again in India, going around the villages um, proclaiming your name. We just ask you, Lord, that his work continues to be successful, and that he has much fruit as he as he tends as he speaks of your of your glory in the name of your Son Jesus Christ. May he be blessed, Lord, with his his particular ministry. Can you to Kelvin? Um, asking for Bibles, um, asking for Bibles. Um, we know that, Father, that your word needs to be pre preached to many people and your word is, is in the Bibles. And these people need to be able to have these Bibles to, to know you to know you more and to be spiritually in touch with you, Lord. So, Father, we do ask you that you, you meet um, Kenyatta's, um, Kelvin's request, Lord, for Bibles for the people that he serves. We just pray for his ministry in general, general as he runs a, a, a welfare clinic in his particular part of Kenya, Lord. May that particularly shine your glory as well in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Simon, Mondo, Simon Mondol in um, Bangladesh. Um, he had a successful East, uh, Christmas program um, feeding and supporting the, the children there with gifts. Um, he was will be doing an Easter program as well for these particular same children. So, Father, we just ask you, Lord, to help him and resource him for that particular program. For that particular program be blessed, Lord. So we hold Simon up to you in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ. Uh, Rose Kego, Rose Kego is um, uh, asked for prayers for her ministry again, looking after orphans. And Father, we just thank you, Lord, that there's so many people who are prepared to dedicate their lives to looking after these children. Um, but Rose Kego has particularly asked for um, for her ministry to be blessed. So we ask you, Lord, to look after her ministry and, and bless her ministry. Pastor Nagarjuna in uh, India again. Uh, I just ask for his ministry to be blessed. Again, spreading your word. Um, particularly he's asked for um, bringing the children to Christ. I think probably we know um, through here in England, Father, that um, the youth ministry is a particularly difficult one to um, to master. And I think uh, Pastor Nagarjuna, Nagarjuna would also like to say the same in his experience in India. So we pray, Lord, that uh, Pastor Nagarjuna is able to bring more young people to Christ because it is the future of Christianity that, that, um, that rests on the young children, that we can bring more young children out of the harvest field um, and make disciples of them so that they can spread your word continuously into the future. So we hold Pastor Nagarjuna's um, work up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Jennifer Lincoln, who is a nun, um, but she does various trips to orphanages and charity, heart, charity homes. So we just um, ask you, Lord, and bless you, bless her, Lord, um, that her work continues 
as she seeks to be able to sh shine your love to these various people around the world that she visits. Um, McCoy Ohlone, here again. Um, speak to him most days, really, and um, we know that he is looking in his part of Uganda to be able to have that orphanage built. Um, very difficult situation at the moment because they are in temporary, they have been in temporary accommodation. Um, I think they've been threatened to be thrown out of those temporary accommodation if they haven't already um, because of the um, difficulties of finance um, um, and not being able to um, being able to, uh, to, to pay the rents on those. But Father, we ultimately ask, Lord, that the resources are made available, that they are able to, to build on the land that they have got, um, but just need the um, resources for the materials and the labour to be able to build that those particular um, homes, classrooms, shelters, schooling, and everything they need on that particular land. We also know, Lord, that um, through the resources that uh, they require, they they're looking for sponsorships for each of their children. So, Father, we just ask you, Lord, that um, however the resources come about, may they be able to come uh, come for them, so that they are able to build this particular orphanage in Uganda, Lord, and be able to look after the children and shine your love and shine your glory to the to the to those who um, benefit from the school, but from those around them that can see your life, love and light shining, Lord. So this would be a wonderful example of your love. So, Father, we hold um, Michaela Loney's um, ministry up to you. Vincent that was on earlier, um, uh, again, is just looking after children. So we ask you, Lord, that um, his, his work, his ministry continues and, and shine your glory. May they know your love, Lord, and seek to, <clears throat> and seek to continue to... Um, make disciples of these children so that they can actually um, uh, be the future um, for you, Lord, and build the building of your kingdom here on earth. Um, Jonathan Ban, um, Jonathan Banda, um, he was asked for um, completion of his church. I think the the majority of the church is completed. But I think he's needing a roof, so he need the iron sheets for the church to go on the roof. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Father, we ask you, Lord, that um, that this is able to um, come to fruition, that the resources are made avail available for the church re roof to be completed, so that um, his congregation can worship you free from the ravages of the elements, Lord. So, Father, we ask you, Lord, for this church to be able to be completed um, for your glory, Lord and for, the, for them to be able to worship. So we ask this in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, Polycup earlier on just asked for his um, his ministry as well to be blessed. So please, Father, we just ask you to bless his ministry as well. Um, I believe, again, he's working with children. and um, But again, just bless his ministry and let his work um, shine your glory to, to the 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 people that he serves but the people around them as well that can observe how you are working lord with the, with these particular um these particular people to bring uh, better lives and better futures for them so father we just um we just hold a polycup up to you in the mighty name of your son jesus christ nearly there just um prayers for the various ministries that work with the media and jonathan bander is one of them as well um, who works on the radio, and we hold his work up to you, Lord. And also, um, Philip um, Waffler, um, we pray for his work on the uh, ministry of the uh, of radio. Um, I know Philip does an awful lot, in the pastor in his particular area, but one part of his work is on the radio stations. So we pray, Lord, that um, through his work there, that he brings many more people to come to know you and that he makes more disciples um through his work lord so we hold his work up to you in the mighty name of your son jesus christ senior mamani jane in kissy uh kenya uh tv station may his work continue to, lord, to glorify you and to bring many more people to come to know you Derek raybon in uh texas again father may his work continue to blossom um that his work with tv and it 
um, Blossoms Lord, and that he's able to, through his work, may he be able to support other ministries who are um, um, looking to bring people to know you. And his work as well with his um, particular uh, broadcast on the Sunday, um, that that brings many more people to come to you, to know you. So we hold Derek up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And finally, one more prayer. Um, uh, Robert Kalule in Uganda um, again has um, uh, ministry with IT. He has many ministries. Um, I mean, he's a uh, uh, pastor and a uh, preacher himself. Um, he also organises events and conferences. Um, but we also know that he is he does IT. He he works on uh, mine and John Benson's um, uh, websites. So, Father, we just ask you, Lord, for his work to continue to be blessed and that he brings many more people to come to know you through what he does, Lord. So we hold um, Robert up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. OK. That is our time of prayer this morning. We thank you very much for your, your time and your presence and your prayers. Yes. May we just ask you, Lord, ask you all to, um, to, to take the time and take some of these prayers away with you so that you can pray for them yourselves. Um, uh, as, as, as best you know, as best as possible. I'm just looking at the chat again. Um, Uh, so to see Pastor uh, McCoy Ohlone just put a message on chat. Um, so yeah, as we come to the end of the prayers, then please feel free to open your mics um, and, and say goodbye. So uh, blessings to you all. Okay, thank, thanks, Terry. Your, your friend who wants help with the orphans in Uganda, um, he needs to try, um, what's it, Compassion UK for sponsors. Compassion UK. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Micaiah. Yeah, I've got some tremendous stories about what they've done to help people. Um, okay, I'll, I'll look into that myself. But that's a good direction, and also start an answer to prayer. So, um, yeah. compassion, UK, you say? Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can contact him on his be on his behalf, and perhaps um, get them connected. Yeah. Thank you for that, John. Yeah. Yeah, I know one man who is the, the top director running a Bible school college, really good stuff in, in Uganda. And he was an orphan, more or less, living in a slum when he started. And All right. yeah, Compassion UK completely changed his life over many years, you know, okay. as, a young, as a young boy. Uh, yeah, thank you, everybody. God okay. bless you. Um, yeah, Terry, there was some, uh, I don't know if you re realise in, in Cambridge, someone went and cut a painting. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, some famous painting. Someone's gone and slashed it. Um, Palestinians, you know. Yeah, it's really, okay. Really, it's, it's really shocking. They, they'll destroy anything to try and make their point. You know, it's... it's um, yeah, I know. I know. That's thanks for prayers for the UK, because, I mean, obviously that all comes as part of that. Yeah, thanks. yeah, I mean, I, th I think most... I, I mean, um, I mean, we're not recording now, are we? Yeah, we are. <laughs> okay. No, even when you talk to most non-Christians, you know, secular people, no matter who they are, they're very concerned about the direction we're heading. Um, you know, you see it on political programs on TV, you see it on YouTube. I see it when I talk to people I know. I, I've got friends going back to the 1960s who, you know, are very concerned about what's happened in this country, you know? Mm -hmm. Um you know, because they might not have been Christians, but they they felt good because of the Christian foundations of this nation. They felt secure, and now they feel it's it's being robbed. You know, it's being taken away. Yeah, um, I mean, no, I, I, I understand. Um, yeah. I, I have just quickly before we disappear, one one, day, one announcement for those who are on, online. Next week, during um, we will have our prayer meeting next week, but next week particularly. Um, some of well, a lot of my ministry work will be put on hold just purely because I am away working in Northern Ireland in Belfast for the whole of the week, and so it's going to be very difficult to do some of my normal um, activities, particularly the um, uh, the teachings that I send out. 
Um, so um, some of those sort of activities will be put on hold for one week, but will return the following week. But we will endeavour to have this prayer meeting next Saturday because I will be home by then. Um, so I'm just um, just sort of pre-warning everybody that uh, um, I, I might not be quite as uh, accessible um, and not being quite as active as I have been um, up till now. So I just um, it, it will just be for one week whilst I'm out in um, out in Belfast um, with my work. So uh, just just a word of warning there. But okay. okay, Terry, you don't want me to come to Belfast with you? <laughs> Hello. Can you, do, can, can, can you feel warm? Hello. Can you feel, uh, Hello. Um, Hello. Yeah. No problem. Hello, Terry. Hello, Terry. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Uh, I'm from Uganda, and I'm Mukaya Aroni from Uganda. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, we, we we pray for you this morning, and we've had. Thank uh, you. So, I need to thank all the brothers and sisters in this group. May God bless you for sparing time to like serve the Lord to pray together. I'm just happy to be here, and may God bless you, brother Terry. We thank you so much for having this vision. Be blessed. Thank you very much. God bless you all. I must disappear oh. now, but God bless you all. We'll be, be together again next week. God bless you okay, all. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you Take so much. Care. God bless. Yeah.